Now the next question is question number 11. Write down the statement. Sin inverse differentiate with respect to x. Sin inverse 2x square root of 1 minus x square minus 1 upon square root of 2 less than x less than 1 upon square root of 2. Second part is cos inverse 2x square root of 1 minus x square minus 1 upon square root of x square root of 2 less than x less than square root of 2. Put x is equals to sin theta here. So what we get? Sin inverse 2 sin theta 1 minus sin square. Use the identity here. Sin square plus cos square is equals to 1. So 1 minus sin square is cos square. So sin inverse 2 sin theta. Cos square and square root is there. So we get cos theta. This is the formula for sin 2 theta. Let this function as y. So y is equals to sin inverse sin 2 theta. Now these are the limits given. Minus 1 upon root 2 less than x less than this. Now x is sin theta. 1 upon root 2 minus 1 upon root 2. 1 upon root 2 that is the value of sin pi by 4. So what we get? Minus pi by 4 less than theta less than pi by 4. Now the angle here is double. So multiply by 2 minus pi by 2 2 theta pi by 2. Here we have sin and the limits are between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So what we get? We get y is equals to 2 theta. Theta is sin inverse x. Now differentiate with respect to x. What we get? dy upon dx sin inverse x ka derivative square root of 1 minus x square. Note it down. Now the second part. Second part we have pass here cos inverse hai. y is equals to cos inverse put x is equals to sin theta here 2 sin theta 1 minus sin square cos square that is cos 2 sin theta cos theta is sin 2 theta but we have here cos inverse we can write sin as cos of 90 minus theta Cos of 90 minus theta is sin theta. Now limits minus 1 upon root 2 less than x less than 1 upon root 2. X is again sin theta here. And 1 upon root 2 is value of sin pi by 4. So minus pi by 4 less than theta less than pi by 4. Now the angle is 2 theta. So multiply by 2. Minus pi by 2. Less than 2 theta, less than pi by 2. Now, here we want the term pi by 2 minus 2 theta. When we multiply it by minus, this term will go here. We can write it as this. Now add pi by 2, 0. Pi by 2 minus 2 theta. Add pi by 2. Pi by 2 plus pi by 2 is pi. Now these are the limits for cos 0 to pi. So cos inverse cos will be is equals to pi by 2. So we get y is equals to pi by 2 minus 2 theta. And theta is sin inverse x. Now differentiate with respect to x. What we get? dy upon dx is equals to derivative of pi by 2 constant term 0 minus 2 and sin inverse x derivative is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square. Now the next one is
क्वेश्चन नंबर डिफरेंशिएट द फॉलोइंग फंक्शन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू एक्स टेन इन वर्स वन माइनस कॉस ऑफ एक्स अपॉन साइन ऑफ एक्स दिस इज फर्स्ट पार्ट माइनस फाइव इज लेस देन एक्स लेस देन फाइव Now one minus cos of x, cos two x has formula one minus two sine square x, or we can write it as two sine square x is equals to one minus cos two x. Now the angle is half, so we get two sine square x by two. Y is equals to tan inverse two sine square x by two. Let this function as sine two theta. That is equals to two sine x cos x. If two sine two x is instead of two x, we have x here, so the angle will be half. Sine x by two, cos x by two. Two will also get cancelled, so we get tan inverse tan x by two. Now the limit is minus pi less than x less than pi. Here the angle is x by two, so divide by two. Limit for tan minus pi by two to pi by two, so we get this as x by two. Now differentiate with respect to x. What we get dy upon dx is equal to one by two. Now the second part is tan inverse. Square root of one minus cos of x upon one plus cos of x. Tan inverse square root of one minus upon one plus. Limit is minus pi less than x less than pi. Let this function as y. So y is equals to tan inverse one minus cos x is two sine square x by two. Similarly, by using the formula for cos two x, one plus cos x is two cos square x by two. Two will get cancelled. Inverse square root of tan square x by two. So we can write it as tan x by two or minus tan x by two. When tan x is greater than equals to zero. And when tan x is less than equal to zero, so we get limits are minus pi is less than x less than pi. Angle is x by two, so divide by two here. These are the limits of tan, so we can write it as x by two and minus x by two. When tan x is greater than equals to zero and tan x is less than zero. Now differentiate with respect to x. So what we get? dy upon dx is equals to one by two and minus one by two according as tan x is greater than equals to zero or less than equal to zero. Note it down. x by 2 is here because here angle is x by 2 now next question y is equals to tan inverse now this is the we get square root of tan square as tan x by 2 when tan x by 2 is greater than equals to 0 when this is less than 0 so we get x by 2 and minus x by 2 tan x by 2 is greater than equals to 0 it means x is 0 is less than x less than pi and minus pi is less than x less than 0 now differentiate with respect to x we get dy upon dx as 1 by 2 and minus 1 by 2 0 is less than x less than pi minus pi is less than x less than 0 now third part is tan inverse 1 plus cos of x square root of 1 plus cos of x upon 1 minus cos of x 
zero is less than x less than pi. Now we write one plus cos x as two cos square x by two, and this as two sine square x by two. So what we get y is equals to tan inverse cot of x by two. We can write cot as tan ninety minus theta is cot theta. Clear? Tan ninety minus theta is cot theta. So zero is less than x less than pi divided by two. X by two less than pi by two. Now change negative sign. Minus pi by two less than minus x by two. Now add pi by two. Zero. Pi by two minus x by two less than pi by two. Limit of tan between minus pi by two to pi by two. So we can write it as pi by two minus x by two. Now differentiate with respect to x. Derivative of pi by two is zero. X by two is one by two. So we get the answer as minus one by two. For the next part. Write down the statement of fourth part. Tan inverse cos of x upon one plus sine x, and the limit is zero is less than x less than pi. Now one plus sine x के लिए हमारे पास कोई भी formula नहीं है, so we can write cos as sine. 90 plus x is cos, or 1 minus sine cos 90 plus x. Sine 90 plus x is cos x, and cos 90 plus x is minus sine x. Let this as sine 2x. Sine 2x is equals to 2 sine x divided by 2. 2 sine x. Cos x, and in the denominator, one minus cos x. One minus cos x is two sine square x by two, pi by four plus x by two. Clear? Two will get cancels. One sine will get cancelled. Cos upon sine is cot pi by four plus x by two. We can write cot as tan. हाँ जी, cot is tan 90 minus theta is cot theta, so pi by 2 minus pi by 4 plus x by 2, so we get tan inverse tan of pi by 2 minus pi by 4. Take the LCM, 2 pi minus pi, pi by 4 minus x by 2. Now the limit is zero is less than x less than pi. Angle divided by two. Then negative sign. So minus pi by two less than minus x by two less than zero. Add pi by four. Pi by four minus pi by two. Take the LCM. Pi minus two pi minus pi by four less than pi by four minus x by two less than Pi by four, pi by four minus pi by four to pi by four. So limit is between minus pi by two to pi by two. Therefore, we get y as pi by four minus x by two. Now differentiate with respect to x. What we get? Dy upon dx. Derivative of pi by four is zero. So we get dy upon dx as Minus one by two. Now the next part is tan inverse square root of one plus sine x upon one minus sine of x. Limit is minus pi by two to pi by two. One plus sine of x. We can write sine as one cos ninety plus x is minus sine x. So negative here. Let this function as 
Now 1 minus sin x, so 1 plus cos pi by 2 plus x. Now this is of the form 1 minus cos x upon 1 plus cos x. So 1 minus cos x is equal to 2 sin square x by 2. Divide this angle by 2 and 1 plus cos x is 2 cos square x by 2. So this term we get, 2 will get cancelled, sin upon cos is 10. So square root of 10 square pi by 4 plus x by 2. Now the limit is minus pi by 2 less than x less than pi by 2. Divide by 2 first, x by 2, pi by 4. Now add pi by 4. 0, pi by 4 plus x by 2, pi by 4 plus pi by 4, 2 pi by 4, that is pi by 2. Limit is between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2, 10. So we can write it as 10 pi by 4 plus x by 2 or we get value of y as pi by 4 plus x by 2. Now differentiate this with respect to x. differentiate with respect to x but we get y was pi by 4 plus x by 2. So dy upon dx derivative of pi by 4 is 0. So we get derivative as 1 by 2. Now the next part tan inverse sec of x plus tan of x and the limit is minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. We can take this function as y, put sec as 1 upon cos and tan as sin upon cos. So what we get? Tan inverse 1 plus sin x upon cos of x. Now 1 plus sin x. We can write this as 1 minus cos pi by 2 plus x. Cos 90 plus theta is sin. And this cos as sin 90 plus x. Sin 90 plus x is cos. Now 1 minus cos is equal to 2 sin square x by 2. Divide the angle by 2. And let this as sin 2x. 2 sin x divide the angle by 2 cos x. 2 and 1 sin will get cancelled. So we have left with y is equal to tan inverse tan pi by 4 plus x by 2. Now the limit says Minus pi by 2 less than x less than pi by 2. Divide the angle by 2. Minus pi by 4 less than x by 2 less than pi by 4. Now add pi by 4 on both sides. Minus pi by 4 less than x by 2 less than pi by 4. So 0 is less than pi by 4 plus x by 2 less than pi by 2. Limit of 10 between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So we get y as pi by 4 plus x by 2. Now differentiate with respect to x.